in this first video, we're going to show you how to create a mobile site. As you can see, we are in the list all your sites area, and we do not have any sites created yet. So we're going to create one. You can either click Add New here or over here in the sidebar. You can click Create New here. Either one will work. Step one, create your mobile site in five steps. So that's all it'll take. So the first thing we're going to do is give our site a name. And this is just for the internal purposes. So you can really name it whatever you like. What I did was pick a uh, random site in my local area. In this particular instance, happens to be a day spa. They do not have a mobile site, but they do have some social media sites. So we're going to create one for them. So, Escape Day Spa is the name. And then we're going to click Go to Step 2. Step 2 is where you select your templates. We have 10 templates for you to select from. In this instance, I'm going to use this template right here with a beauty parlor because it seems to match the colors fairly decent. So we're going to use it. Next we'll click go to step three. And in step three, this is where you modify the template colors and settings. You can change the page background, the header background, the menu background, the content background, or the footer background. We have just like in the header, if you click the button, a little pop up will come up and you can uh, either put in the code in hex or RGB or you can just select it. But for this particular instance, we're not going to change it. This down here is your editing area. It'll give you a sort of a preview down here. Now, this preview right here is not accurate and the simulator, simulators for the most part don't give you a true way a mobile site acts anyways. But if you want to see a little bit better preview, we got a preview button right here. And you can see a little bit more what the site will look like, but it'll all squeeze down real nice on a mobile phone. So the first thing we want to do is change out our image. You can see the little beauty image right here. So we're going to select the image. You can see it uh, puts a little window around it. And if we double click it, this window will pop up, give you a little information about the image. And if you have one uploaded on a server somewhere like Amazon S3, Photo Bucket, or somewhere right there, you can just put in your link and click Browse the Server, and it will let you pick it from there. For our purposes, we're just going to upload one from our local computer. So I'm going to click on Browse, and I already have a logo that I created from their website, and then I'll just click Send it to Server. You see, here's our new little image. Gives it our width and height. And if we wanted to, we can put some alternative text in there. Now, we also have this little logo down here. And what we're going to do here is change that out and put the name of the spa. So I click on that image and double click it. And it shows the width is 307 by 3 by 37. So we're going to upload another image that I've already fixed up. Click send it to the server. And there we have it. I'll click OK. And I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and click on Save Setting. And we'll click Preview over here. And as you can see, we've got our new logo and our new header with the name. As I said, don't, don't worry about what it looks like in this little simulator because it's not accurate. And we could go ahead and change change around some other colors if we wanted to uh, over there. But uh, I think that looks pretty good for this uh, 
for the spa, so I'm going to leave it right there, and then we'll click on go to step four. Now this particular template has several menus that are already pre-created. And we're not going to create every one of these, but I will go through and uh, and create a few pages. Uh, what I did was I've got three pages that I have set up here with the text that I'm going to include already set up, and I'm going to uh, have uh, three menus, menu pages, I should say. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and delete these ones that I'm not going to use. Let's see, what do we have here? Got home, about, and location. We got home, about. We don't need testimonial. Or that one. The location, we'll just use that for our contact, and we'll just edit that one so now what we'll do is go to edit now if you wanted to if you wanted to add a particular menu you just click here and call it whatever you want actually we'll do that we'll just call this one location and we'll click save and now you have a new menu item so we'll go ahead and delete the contact so now we have our three menu items that we're going to create our pages for. So now we'll go to step five. This is a, this is the step where you will create the content for your pages. And we'll continue that on the next video.